Washington, Ms. Delbeni. The gentlewoman is recognized for two minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise in strong opposition to this bill. I wish I could say I'm surprised that House leaders are kicking off 2016 the same way they spent 2015 attacking women's health, but I'm not. For anyone who's forgotten, let me refresh your memory. Last year, the House voted 10 times to attack women's health. That includes voting to restrict reproductive health care and private insurance, enact a sweeping 20-week abortion ban, and allow employers to discriminate against workers for using birth control. Now, we're voting to defund Planned Parenthood for the fifth time, even though three House committees tried and failed to uncover any evidence of wrongdoing. What's worse, today's vote takes place before Republicans' taxpayer-funded select committee to investigate Planned Parenthood has even held its first meeting. It's shameful. Americans expect us to focus on facts, not ideology. And so far, there are no facts to justify defunding a health care provider that 2.7 million Americans rely on. So here's what we do know. Planned Parenthood provides nearly 900,000 cancer screenings each year. 78% of Planned Parenthood patients are low income. And the services provided by Planned Parenthood help prevent more than 500,000 unintended pregnancies every year. With each passing week, it becomes clear this chamber isn't interested in the facts. It's only interested in pushing an extreme ideological agenda designed to take away women's constitutional right to choose. I urge my colleagues to vote no, and I yield back. The gentlewoman yields back. The gentleman from Colorado reserves. The gentleman from Georgia.